Hi, it's Rachel at the Prosper Community Library, and I am so excited to bring you another unboxing of our new YA items. We just received a ton of new YA stuff, and I'm just gonna highlight a few of those today, but please come on by the library and take a look at all the new stuff that we have. All right, so let's get started. First up is this Golden State. It's a cute cover. This is by Merritt Weisenberg. Let's see what this one is all about. The Winslow family lives by five principles. Number one, no one can know your real name. Two, don't stay in one place for too long. Three, if you sense anything is wrong, go immediately to the meeting spot. Four, keep our family together. Keeping our family together is everything. Number five, we wish we could tell you who we are, but we can't. Please don't ask. Poppy doesn't know why her family has been running her whole life, but she does know that there are dire consequences if they're ever caught. Still, her curiosity grows each year, as does her desire for real friends and the chance to build on something instead of leaving behind school projects, teams, and crushes at a moment's notice. When a move to California exposes a crack in her parents' airtight planning, Poppy realizes how fragile her world is. Determined to find out the truth, she mails in a home DNA test. Just as she starts to settle into her new life and even begins opening up to a boy in her math class, the forgotten test results bring her crashing back into reality. Unraveling the shocking truth of her parents' real identities, Poppy realizes the DNA test has undone decades of careful work to keep her family anonymous, and the past is dangerously close to catching up to them. Determined to protect her family, but desperate for more, Poppy must, must ask, how much of herself does she owe her family? And is it a betrayal to find her own place in the world? All right, that one sounds really good. A lot of mystery involved there. Um, I read that this is a great book. If you are a fan of Karen M. McManus, her, um, her novels, One of Us is Lying and that set. So if you like Karen McManus, you might want to check this one out. It sounds really good. All right, I'm so excited about our next one. It's called No Stopping Us Now. It's by Lucy Jane. But let's so I'm a huge basketball fan, so um, I'm really excited about this one. And it says that Louisa loves to play basketball, but in 1974, school only has a boys team. An encounter with feminist Gloria Steinman teaches her about Title IX, the law that bans discrimination based on gender. So she asks her principal to start a girls team. Little does she know that she'll soon be viciously targeted by male coaches at her school, lied to by the school board, and fall in love a couple of times as she fights for a fair chance to be an athlete. No Stop Stopping Us Now is a story about finding one's own voice through the joys of sports, love, and the power of sisterhood. Based on the author's true story, it's a compelling examination of the courage it takes to stand up for what's right. All right, so that sounds really good. It's some historical fiction, sports, and um, I just found out that um, this year is the 50th anniversary of Title IX as well. So very timely book to read um, right now. Sounds really good. Can't wait to pick up No Stopping Us Now. All right, next we have Sense and Second Degree Murder. I love the cover of this one. So this is book two. Um, the first one is Pride and Premeditation. Um, and by Tears of Price, so what she's done is she's taken um, Jane Austen's beloved books and just kind of given them really a fun mystery twist. Um, I haven't read the first one yet. I can't wait to do that, but um, I'm really excited to see what these are. Um, I've heard that they're just really fun to read. So, since in Second Degree Murder, um, it says, When aspiring scientist Eleanor Dashwood discovers her beloved father slumped over 
the desk of his office study, she knows his death means dire straits for the Dashwood women. What's worse, an outdated will entails his estate, including Norland and Company, the private investigation firm where her younger sister Marianne worked as her father's protege, to their half-brother and his haughty wife, who waste no time in forcing the Dashwoods out of their home and into the cramped apartment on London's Barton Street. But before they go, the Dashwood sisters make a startling discovery that point, points to foul play and a killer who might be family. It could be dangerous, it could ruin their reputations, and most important, it won't bring back their father. But if the Dashwood sisters can bring their father's murderer to justice, it may bring them all some comfort and it might even lead to love. All right, definitely want to check this one out. And the first one, Pride and Premeditation, um, just sounds really, really fun, especially if you like Sense and Sensibility um, and other fun Jane Austen novels. All right, give this one a try. Hey, okay, up next we have Hotel Magnifique. This is by Emily J. Taylor, and it says that it is a magical, um, supernatural thriller. So if you love to read magical stories this one might be for you it says all her life Janny has dreamed of elsewhere barely scraping by with a job at a tannery she's resigned to a dreary life in the port town of dirk caring for her younger sister zosa that is until the legendary hotel magnifique appears in town hotel magnifique is famous for for its astonishing enchantments especially its ability to travel the world arriving at a new destination each midnight. Janny and Zosa seize their chance to join the hotel staff and they're soon swept up in a world of sparkling chandeliers and impossible magic. But it's not too long before Janny discovers that beneath its marvelous glamour, the hotel is hiding dangerous secrets. With the vexingly handsome doorman, Belle, as her only ally, Janny embarks on a mission to unravel the mystery of the magic at the heart of the hotel and free Zosa and the other staff from the cruelty of the ruthless maitre d. To succeed, she'll have to risk everything she loves, but failure could mean a fate far worse than never returning home. Okay, that one just sounds really fun. Check out Hotel Magnifique. Okay, next we have Why Would I Lie? This is by Addie Rule. It says, bitter, angry, paranoid. Vivica North works harder and smarter, and it'll all be worth it when she's named valedictorian and granted admission to her dream school, the elite Everett College. All her sacrifices are finally about to pay off. That is, unless the mysterious new guy at school, Jameson Sharp, steals valedictorian out from under her. Jameson is popular, charming, and funny, and school comes easily to him. Vivica knows he can't really be all that he seems, but everyone completely dismisses her concerns. Soon Vivica is obsessed with proving that Jameson is a fraud. But the deeper she gets into uncovering what she believes to be a web of lies and deceit, the closer her dreams come to unraveling once and for all. Is the school golden boy really lying or is she just as paranoid as everyone thinks? In this suspenseful psychological thriller, Addie Rue weaves the unforgettable story of a girl who refuses to be silenced and who won't back down from what she knows she deserves. Okay, that one sounds really fun. All right, check out Why Would I Lie? And so the last book that I want to share with y'all today is All My Rage by Sabah Tahir. And Sabah Tahir is uh, normally a fantasy writer. She's got the series Ember in the Ashes um, that's really popular, but um, this is more of a contemporary read. So let's see what this one is all about. It says Lahore, Pakistan, then. Mizbah is a dreamer and storyteller, newly married to Tofiq in an arranged match. After their young life is shaken by tragedy, they come to the United States to and open the Clouds Rest Inn Motel, hoping for a new start. Juniper, California, now. Salahuddin and Noor 
are more than best friends, they are family. Growing up as outcasts in the small desert town of Juniper, California, they understand each other the way no one else does until the fight, which destroys their bond with the swift fury of a star exploding. Now Sal scrambles to run the family motel as his mother, Miss Buzz, health fails and his father loses himself to alcoholism. Nora, meanwhile, walks the harrowing tightrope, working at her wrathful un uncle's liquor store while hiding the fact that she's applying to college so she can escape him and Juniper forever. When Sal's attempt to save the motel spiral out of control, he and Nora must ask themselves what friendship is worth and what it takes to defeat the monsters in their pasts and the ones in their midst. And uh, from one of today's most cherished and best-selling young adult authors comes a breathtaking novel of young love, old regrets, and forgiveness, one that's both tragic and poignant in its tender ferocity. All right, so, and this one has really, really great reviews online, so it's sure to be really good. So you guys pick it up, maybe, um, a little bit heavier read than some of the other ones that uh, we talked about today, which seem to be more fun, but still, um, this one is going to be really good. So check out All My Rage. Okay, and that's going to be it for us today. Um, come by the library and check out these and many, many other new YA books that we've recently received. Um, our shelves are just full of them. All right, we'll see you soon.